Hello friends. Telogen effluvium or diffuse hair loss is one of the most common causes of alopecia. It usually affects women and starts about three months after some triggering event. It lasts for about six months and usually settles by itself. The triggering events could be multiple, but usually it's followed after a fever like say a typhoid, dengue, malaria, tuberculosis, chikungunya or simply a viral fever. It could also be associated with hyperthyroidism or hypothyroidism. It can be associated with diabetes, with illnesses like lupus, cancer and other such systemic illnesses. It can also be caused by certain drugs. But the most common cause of telogen effluvium is nutritional deficiencies. It involves a hair fall of about in the vicinity of 100 to 150 hair or sometimes even more falling every single day. If this process lasts for more than the assigned time, that's more than about six months, then you should approach your doctor. Your doctor will write you a few tests like perhaps an ESR. They will check for your uh, nutritional status by checking for ferritin levels that tells your iron levels, your vitamin B12, vitamin D3. They will check for your thyroid status. Depending upon the results, they might prescribe certain supplements. Required concentrations of the desired element is really extremely important when you want to treat it properly. A cocktail containing several little bit of this and little bit of that vitamins and minerals is not going to help you in the long run. They may also, your dermatologist may also prescribe you certain topical solutions and usually when we see acute cases or recent cases of telogen effluvium, we prescribe peptides. They really help too. Minoxidil, which is the golden molecule, is not really recommended in acute telogen effluvium, but it does have a role in chronic telogen effluvium. Among the procedures that we perform, PRP can also help in chronic telogen effluvium. More about this and other types of alopecia in subsequent videos. Hope you like this. Thanks for watching.